back to the faith, uh, issue of faith, you know, uh, you may know and you are aware that, you know, a lot of controversies are going on regarding the banning of beef. Don't you think that uh, it is an attack to the individual liberty to choose one's food? Suppose uh, I develop taste for cannibalism, will you allow me? So now I want you to understand from where this is coming. We are a pastoral society, that is, for ages, our health, well-being is always determined by the cow. You understand? Our economy, our health, our well-being is decided by the cow. We have gone through bad agriculture years, droughts, famines. Even when famines came, if you had a cow at home, your children will be healthy. This is the wisdom of this culture. So cows were not just animals, they were part of the families. And cow is such an animal, suppose in the house you have a certain relationship with the cow, if you are in grief, the cow will shed tears. So because it has human emotions, it was considered in this country, if you kill a cow, it amounts to murder, if you eat a cow, it amounts to cannibalism. Now maybe a certain percentage of people have started eating, but it's very offensive for the rest. Can't you eat a dog? What's the problem? Dog lovers will kill you, believe me. But cow lovers are not supposed to say anything because they are supposed to be majority population. This is unfair. If somebody wants to eat in his house, it's different. But India becoming a major exporter of beef is a crime. I don't go with that. But an individual person wants to cut a cow in his house and eat, I think it's insensitive, but it's up to him. I think instead of banning beef, all they should have done is no export of meat from India. Now the only way, I'm telling you, the only way you can preserve the soil of this nation for future generations is you must have enough animals, farm animals on the farm. I think it must be made mandatory. For every acre, you must have this many cows. Otherwise, this soil will be absolutely useless in the next forty to fifty years.